Alright, so a while back, I made a tutorial of how you guys can edit vertical videos in Shotcut. But ever since these new updates came to Shotcut, that tutorial, along with others, have been outdated. So I think it's time to update these tutorials, starting with this one. Okay, to start off with, we're in Shotcut already and I already have imported my vertical clip that I'm going to be using and it's ready to go in the timeline. Now, ever since these new updates came to Shotcut, some of these filters names have changed since then and Shotcut also added new filters that will help you achieve these same effects easier. So for today, our goal is to take this vertical clip and remove these black bars that you see on the sides with a blurred out version of the same video clip that we're going to be using. So instead of having these black bars, we're just going to have a blurry version of the video as the background. Now in order to achieve this effect, all you have to do is just make sure you have selected your vertical video clip, go to filters, hit the plus button, and we're going to be moving to the video tab. From there, we're just going to be looking for a new effect that Shotcut added called the blur pad. Now once you select this blur pad, you can see it instantly adds the blurry background version of your video behind your vertical video clip. This will allow you to remove the black bars that you've seen before by adding this simple filter. Now by going to the settings, you can see that you guys can adjust the amount of blur. You can either increase it or decrease it depending on your personal preference. And you guys can test these out along with the video. But this is basically a new filter that Shotcut released that makes this process way easier than it used to be. However, there is a lack of customization that you can add when you're editing this kind of vertical video. Now, what I mean about lack of customization is that once you actually apply this filter onto your video, there's basically nothing much that you can do with it, except change the amount of blur that you want to have in the background. For example, if I go to the actual video clip and I try to change the size and position, you guys can see that black bars will appear all over the video and it's not going to look as good as it used to when everything was on default. And basically, if you actually try to export the video by changing the size and position, the black bars will stay throughout the whole video and you won't be able to get that same effect. So all you can basically do is just apply the actual filter, change the amount of blur, and that's pretty much it. So if you actually try to move the size and position and don't know how to go back, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just click the reverse button on the size and position settings that we find right here and everything should go back to default. Now that you're actually satisfied and done editing with the effect that you've implemented to your video, the last thing you have to do is just basically export the file. Now, just by going to export, you'll see all different types of presets. However, I usually just use the H.264 preset and just leave all the settings default, or you can actually use the YouTube preset and leave everything else default if you're planning to upload this video. However, I do have an in-depth video going over the best settings to export on Shotcut for any occasion. So if you guys want to check out that video, link is in the description. The next thing I want to show you is basically some export results that I was able to get by using this effect and implementing it on the video. So the first example that I'm going to be showing you is using the exact same filter, just adjusting the blur and nothing else to show you what you can expect by using this filter. The second video clip that I'm about to show you is basically using the same filter but moving the size and position and you guys will be able to see the black bars that will show up in the video if you try to mess with the size and position settings with this filter. And finally, the last clip I'm about to show you is actually the same effect achieved in a different way. Now, if you guys want to have more control of how your vertical video looks, you can actually achieve the same effect using different settings. However, it may take a little longer, but you have more creative control of how your video would end up looking. So that was the video clip that I wanted to show you and as you can see I was able to change the amount of blur, change the brightness and even change the overall size and position of your video clip that you want to be seen. Now if you want to go with the manual way of achieving this effect, all you have to do is just add a few other filters to these video clips. Now if you guys want to learn how to do this simple effect using this particular way, you guys can check out the previous tutorial that I did on this very effect and link will be in the description. So there you have it, another filter that Shotcut has added to achieve this very simple effect using vertical videos that you guys can use or you guys can check out the previous tutorial on how to achieve this same effect with more creative control. And if you're looking for any more Shotcut tutorials or any video editing tutorials, this is the channel for you. So feel free to check out any videos that you think might help you. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.